Well, we got snow and I think I gotta go feed cows. Gotta be easier job than this. Gippy, that'll do. Get these cattle out of there. Not happy that it snowed. I thought if we can get away with another week of more work. Spent two hours on blowing snow this morning. And right now, uh, the ground isn't frozen. So uh, when I'm going with the blower, it actually hooks into, so it's uh, not really uh, that pleasant right now of uh, blowing any snow. So gonna take a couple of bales of hay to the cows. Yeah, I don't like this kind of weather. Take it out of gear. Gotta take my key out. That's one thing, this little tractor, it sure starts good. Go in my heated seat here. <sighs> Not a heated seat, but... So this morning I, I was up pretty early, got the snowblower going and I already got a breakdown on it. I got to fix the chute on it and uh, we did a little bit of clearing. I got more to do, but it's uh, kind of blowing right now so I'm not really going to do it. I wish I had a cab on this track to keep me warm. Uh, I was pretty pumped out about not having a Gave half a bale of hay, also the cows. First bale of hay we've been feeding this this season. It's pretty good, better than uh, today's November 11th, Remembrance Day. I got some cover cropping that still needs to be grazed. Yeah, so look at all the green stuff here. So we're gonna see what happens. Uh, Today's Friday, Monday I got the steer jams going, so I'm gonna probably let the cows on here on Monday. And uh, we'll see how this is all gonna go, but there's still a lot of product here. I'm thinking maybe the ground is still on the warm side. And maybe it'll melt some of the snow, maybe it'll go down. And maybe the cows will forge through it. We'll see what happens. Well, uh, <clears throat> I gotta do a little fixing up here. Not sure how well this is going to work. <clears throat> this grain auger fell down on me the other day and I'm not sure why the cows were on it. Well, let's see if we can fix it.
Well, okay. So I gotta bring this thing down here. Uh, not sure how long I'm gonna have because you little batteries, the battery in here doesn't last very long because of the cold weather. So I think I figure out what happened. This rail came down, but what happened too, I think, is the cows were uh, in here and somehow they bent this and it came off. So anyways, uh, I'm gonna get a hammer and knock this down because it doesn't seem like the gravity wants to work with me here. Then just give me a minute. Let's go for a hammer. It's hammer time. You know, it's, it's very frustrating this morning. It's, uh, I knew that cows probably couldn't graze anything, so I knew I had to feed them a bale of hay. Then I also had to get the snow blower on because home care was supposed to be coming here this morning. Well, they didn't come in and got everything clear for home care because my mother's 94, and so she needs extra help. So then they didn't come. So what I have to do is, uh, and then working on the open tractor with the snow blower. I wish I just had a new tractor or a tractor with a cab. Keep me nice and toasty warm. Then I could listen to the to the tunes out there. But uh, the tractor I had with a three-point hitch. And things are getting so expensive right now. How are we gonna afford this machinery? I don't understand it. Something's gotta give. Something's gotta give. I'm gonna try to hammer this down. Okay, we're getting there. Another problem, I have the bulls were in here to bent the handle. Frustrating. That's frustrating. Well, that was a struggle. I got the uh, auger where I wanted to be. You know how hard it is to move an auger by yourself in the snow? The tires and then it tries to climb up? It's crazy. Oh, it's gotta be an easier job than this. I'm going in to have a bite to eat. I'm gonna put my big coveralls on and I'm gonna blow some snow finish blowing the snow out here. I wanted to plug the tractor in and spark came out so i'm just gonna cut this one right out i got a shorter cord these dogs i tell you sometimes they get so annoying just put a new cord into there i really like that uh reel because winds up the wire right away that one right there. Had it for a number of years. This is my second cord I put in there. So we're gonna take leave. We're gonna have about six feet shorter. So we'll fix this off and put another one in. I went for lunch and uh, probably a little longer than a lunch hour. And uh, the 986 will will not start right now. Fix this up here and uh, things break there 
we go. You guys are such a pain in the butt. You guys be quiet. So I'm gonna see if we can blow a little bit of snow right now. morning everyone we got some white stuff here and it's gonna probably stay here today is November 12th got a few cows that are getting out here the plan this morning is to we got to tag some calves today because uh, I got tag calves that are leaving in, uh, in a couple of uh, days and they need tags in order for them to be sold or else we get penalized so I got a couple a few yeah, a few head of cattle here. Well, let's see what we're gonna do here. Brought Pupi with me. Pupi, that'll do. Get these cattle out of there. So these, uh, some of them, go get them. So I need to bring them into the yard. If those were heifers or female calves. Then I wouldn't need to bring them in, but uh, the steers I need to bring them in because we need to tag them because those are the ones we're shipping. Back it up. I remember years ago uh, they never really had very good corrals, and uh, I know they would take the uh, they would take the uh, take whatever equipment they have, use that for gates and fences and. Uh, that would really help cattle get used to the things. Then you get the neighbors to come and help and just be like a big rodeo. So you might as well take crap and rub it on your coveralls at first because you were gonna get crapped on. <clears throat> I know I don't need this cow, but if I can get this cow in, if I have to chase her in the future, then they know, okay, we're going in here. All right, let's close this gate. See what I can help do. What are you guys cats doing up here? <clears throat> Trying to get a board view. Oh, that went pretty good. <clears throat> so today is Saturday, so on Monday I gotta do the same thing, but I wanna get the tags. Uh, be like one less thing to worry about. I just know that when I got stuff to do and uh, sometimes the cattle might not come in very good. Get it done and uh, so I have the truck booked here to come at 11 o'clock. When Ed's hauling say it's 11 o'clock, he will be here 11 o'clock. He might even be here earlier. Usually he's never late. So now what I have to do is I gotta sort the calves off. We just tag the calves that are gonna be leaving on uh, Monday and uh, today's Saturday so what we did is we it's a um, radio frequency tags is what these uh, cattle get it's uh, is something like this here no tags can leave no cattle can leave the uh, yard without these tags uh, <clears throat> I only tag my cattle when they leave the uh, farm I don't give these tags at birth I don't give them to our heifers I don't give them to our cows give them to our cows when uh, they leave I did at one point give them this at one point we tagged them these tags are I think right about three dollars a tag actually I should look at the bill I don't even know exactly what they are but three dollars a tag and uh, I've noticed if you keep uh, cows for eight to ten years the retention on these are very poor you're not going to you know they'll stay for maybe three or four years but if you got bush pasture and you know if you got round bale feeders you know they can hook them and they can lose them and uh, and uh, you know if you lose 10 tags that's 30 dollars i know it doesn't sound like much but 30 dollars is money saved that we could uh, actually say put it towards something else so yeah i didn't get any video uh, us tagging the uh, steers uh so uh, we got a trailer that's going to go on monday so that'll help uh, feed some of the uh, bills that uh, that are on the farm and have to fuel up those things over there the fuel tanks
it is by law that all tags coming off the prim all off the trailers need to have these tags. If they don't have, the auction mart uh, will charge you for putting them in. And uh, you know, I'm not sure exactly what the cost of it is, but uh, yeah, it's just something that we want to make sure that we uh, have done. And uh, not the fault of the auction mart; uh, they're just following the rules uh, that uh, the Canadian Food Inspection Agency has uh, put into place. And uh, yeah, but. Uh, it's all good. Today is November 14th. Actually, it's the beginning of hunting season. But we're not hunting today. Tomorrow is actually payday. We are going to be shipping our steer calves today. So I got to bring that herd in, sort them out. And the truck is going to be here in about two and a half hours. So just getting ready for that. We uh, tagged them the other day. And so they're ready for market. Going, honey. It's one thing. This is a little bit of a stressful issue because I want to make sure I have everything ready for the truck when he comes. I've got the calves all sorted out already and uh, they're going to the sale so I got a trailer coming in here in about an hour and a half and I need to change because I am sweating especially my uh, shirt I got layers on and um, to the auction mart they're gonna weigh them put a shrink on them and they're gonna go on feed and uh, the cattle will be pretty happy and uh, also, uh, hopefully the buyers will be happy as well. So anyways, quite pleased with the uh, service I'm getting and uh, <clears throat> that's important to me. It's uh, it's kind of a one year deal here is uh, you keep, uh, this is your, kind of your payday for these cattle and uh, that's actually our main bread and butter here. Okay, well that went a lot easier than I thought. It's uh, truck is here an hour early, but that's okay. They will get sold early tomorrow, and uh, then go to their new home and. So I just let the cows out in the uh, winter grazing here. They're doing really good. You know, they're taking off uh, the, uh, you know, they're barreling through a little bit here too. And uh, you can just kind of see, can't open my window, but look at, there's still a lot of green stuff underneath here. Today's November 18th and they're very pleased that we're still grazing cattle. I am throwing a few bales of hay. You can see how they walked through here. They knocked all the snow out of here and now the hay is getting exposed. And um, you can see exactly where we had the wire was. They kind of uh, grazed it down. They could have probably grazed a little bit more if there wasn't very much snow. Well, anyways, those cows are gonna fill their tummies up and then they can uh, gain a little bit of uh, warmth. The wind has really come up. It was minus 17 this morning when I got up and there was a bit of a wind chill. 
So we got the results of the steer calves that uh, we sold. Uh, we got 17% more than what we got for them last year. And uh, so that was uh, positive. Uh, and, but also our input costs have increased too. So this is where we're gonna end the video. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Hey, Arnie, what are you doing up there? Hey, Arnie. Yeah. Give everybody a kiss.